let us start our today's session we'll start with snowflake certifications so if you are planning for certifications so first you plan it for snow pro core certification so that is the developer certification we have so first you plan it for core certification if you have already completed so then you can go for role based certification or specialty certifications so what are the different types of certifications are available there are three different categories so you can take it up so based on your role so based on your experience and based on your requirement so first one is snow pro associate and core certification so normally we will take this core certification snow pro core certification this associate certification comes under the platform if you want to go for snowflake admin yes you can take the snow pro associate certification but if you want to go for data engineer role then you can take this snow pro core certification and we have the snow pro specialty certifications it's nothing but we have jnaa a snow park certifications all different certifications are available if you want to take yes you can take the third one is the advanced certifications it's like uh, we have some role based certifications so if you have already completed the core certification then you can focus on this advanced certification so here if you take associate or core certification we have associate certification no pro associate is nothing but it's a platform snowflake admin team if you are admin yes you can take this certification snow pro developer will take snow pro core certification so if you are planning for snow pro core certification these are the percentage of questions they will ask with the six different domains the first one is data cloud features and architecture the architecture basics they will ask 25 percentage of the questions from architecture snowflake architecture then account access and security 20 percentage of the questions are from account access and security so we have our back some different roles users and security everything right so they will ask 20 percentage of the questions performance concept they will ask 15 percentage we have seen already completely the performance data loading and unloading so data loading is nothing but copy into so we have the different stages internal stage external stage everything 10 percentage of the exams they will ask and data transformations like a cloning so a lot of concepts are available right a transformation logic procedure udf transformations sql functions all this they will ask in this transformations and data protection and data sharing so this one also we have seen so 10 percentage of the question they will ask from this particular domain these are the six different domains we already completed all of them and please focus on these areas and if you are planning for the specialty certifications there are three different certifications are available so one is snow park it's completely on the ml side they will ask python related questions right so how we are the spice park so here it is called snow park okay so that comes with the python and you can take python if you are interested yes you can take snow park certifications also if you are planning for a related certifications like a related ml a role then you can focus on these three the specialty certifications so what they will ask in snow park so they will ask snow park concept api for python and then data transformations and performance optimization mostly they will test the programming skills okay so here in snow park then we have the native apps there are different questions they will ask in the native apps and so here we have the gen ai so normally this is for these three are a related certifications like we are the a llm all this right so ml everything they will ask from here so to take the certification we need snow pro core certification so then only they will allow us to take the certification then we have the role based certifications these are the advanced certifications once we complete snow pro core then we can take it up the certifications architect data engineer data scientist administrator and data analyst so before going to this administrator you can take platform certification associate certification then you can take this one data engineer data scientist data scientist so mostly like the specialty certifications where they will ask the python related questions a and ml related questions and data analyst mostly they will ask sql so how we will do the analysis on the data they will ask data engineer so everything they will ask advanced snow pro core certifications this is the cost 
for certification. So if you are planning for Snow Pro Core, it's approximately 175 US dollar with the tax. So if you are taking the certification from India, then they, you can expect 20% regional discount on this cost. The Snow Pro Core certification is valid for two years. If you have already taken before two years and you want to, again, you want to take recertification, then you can pay $88, like a lot of new features they have added, right? So they will ask the same Snow Pro only since we are taking after two years. So we can pay $88 plus tax. And then specialty certification, they will ask, they will take to 225 US dollars and advanced certification, $375. Okay, 375 plus around 40 to $50 tax, then you will take around four four forty four fifty dollars okay so this is a certification the cost and uh, this is the minimum score they will put a score from zero to thousand then we need to take 750 plus okay so then they will say like it's a 75 percentage is the passing score we have to score at least 750 plus so we can take confused so then if you ask me how can i register it right so you can go to this one just uh, google it with certification snowflake certification registration okay so you can go here and go to this snow pro certifications so here this is the page learn.snowflake.com certifications here then you can create account so first you can create account i already explained right snow pro associate and core certification specialty certifications and advanced certifications so these are the certifications available you can check every now and then definitely they will change the pattern questions and everything because they are changing the entire snowflake architecture ui and everything right they will slightly they will change the questions this is the page okay snowflake login certification metrics this one okay so just to go to this login so based on the email so you can log in Okay, so this is the page you will get cp.certmetrics.com snowflake. Okay, this is the page and you will get your snowflake number, also certification number. I already completed, right? So this will be available in the my certifications, certification status, all this. So whatever the certification I completed, it will be available here, right? So whatever the certification you have completed. So they put the expiry date also when it is going to expire all this so now if you want to register register it go to this schedule and manage exam and manage my exams so go to this one so since i already completed the snow pro core so it will not be available here and if i'm planning for any other certification for example i want to write data engineer certification or or any other data analyst certification right so I can go inside, register and schedule. Just I'll go here. Okay, so this is the one and there. And you can take, if you want to take online, so this one, um, online with on view, just to go inside. Or if you are going for any in-person test center, you can take this one. But so you can take online exam. They will, they will give us some instruction. We have to follow that. So go to this and these are the prerequisite for this okay go to next and you can read all this okay so how they will ask questions and everything and you can check all these check box you can read and then you can check it okay so what they will ask right so prerequisite on the test today what we have to follow all this they will Put here then go to agree and okay what is the instruction okay you want you can put english right then go to next then which time we are preferring so based on our address it will take automatically so you can take r if you want to change this you can change it now i'll go here and you can book a slot for example so from today onwards it's available right so if it is available it will it will show you but you can refresh it always if it is not available for example you want to take it on monday but the slot is not available then after 10 minutes you can try so it will be available definitely go to this one 
and choose the slot okay explore more times if you want so you can take the more times or they are giving this this particular time right or you can go to this one okay these are the timings are available so whatever the timing you want for example i want to take this this particular time or this particular time okay so i will take this one then so what is the time slot right so i'm taking 6 pm 6 pm to 8 pm so two hours then book this appointment so click on this so this is the one for for all of most of the certification we will follow so online and this is the cost 375 dollars right and so you can take so this is the 423 us dollars it's almost it will come around 500 canadian dollars so 500 is nothing but around 30000 right so you can take 30 32000 around that so this particular certification data analyst but if you are planning for the snow pro core yes it will be 175 plus so it will around 200 dollars okay but this is the advanced certifications and so i'm just removing it because i already put card then if i if i go to this checkout then they will take the from the card okay so this is the way you have to do it so i hope you are clear it's not like uh, this this particular website so this is the correct website okay so after after completing the exam then you can go here you can check your exam status and so what is your score and everything you can check it here all right so this one so they will check whether you are there our the score the everything is correct or not okay so this is like the exam history everything you can check it here so dashboard so this is the page okay cp.certmetrics.com snowflake so you can go here you can take it from here so i hope you are clear now the certification how to take how to register it so if you are planning yes you can go ahead and then you can register it yourself so while taking the exam so we should not uh, wear any watch uh, no one should be there in the room and the room should be very uh, clean and they will ask us to take the camera and we should not move out of the camera of 2 hours they will give us the instruction okay so you have to follow that that's it then it's very easy only to take if you for example you have registered it if you are planning for okay i want to take some practice right here you have the practice you can go to this practice one register it for example today you want to take it yes you can take it today itself okay so this one practice and you can so it will be very similar to how we'll take the normal or practice also they're they're asking around 56 dollars 70 minutes okay it's almost to one hour and it's very similar so if you want to take yes you can take this one practice also they're asking 56 dollars but some online practice certifications are available if you want you can take it so you can purchase if you have any voucher code then you can put uh, you can purchase some voucher code also it's available already some people are there to give the purchase the voucher code it will be less cost only than when compared to this one